Hey everybody, it's John from the Gamer Dude here. Today's special day nonetheless as we are continuing our Pokemon Blue Randomizer Nuzlocke. And if you guys do not know from the beginning of this video, it's raining! So I'm going to be recording a lot of episodes of this series. Because it's the only series I got other than Trilink, which uh, we might record today or some other day. I don't know what's happening with that other than we're having fun and it's one of my favorite series that I've ever done on a channel before. Um, or, and it's not even on the channel, it's on the channels, because, no, no, I'm just having fun with that series, nonetheless. Anyway, that's not the series I'm recording today, obviously, it's Pokemon Blue, Randomized Nuzlocke, and we have a team we have to do. So, I didn't do anything bad, finally, um, but it was, I mean, we had just fun. Um, we have Ty, level 38, mind you, the next gym's gonna be level 49. So basically what's going to happen, right, is I'm going to go from here. We will be fighting a gym in a no, It's going to be a while. I'm sorry, you guys. I know I love fighting gyms and everything, but we've got... we got to go through the tower, around to Cycling Road, down to Fuchsia, around to whatever it's called, around and up and into Saffron and... Then from into Saffron, we have to go to fight freaking Team Rocket, to then fight Koga, to then fight Sabrina, to then finally after doing all of that stuff, after fighting those two gym leaders, get back to normal pacing. So <laughs> we've got a lot of stuff to get done. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for it and I hope you guys are ready. Um, I don't even think in this recording session I'm going to be fighting a gym leader. That's how much we have to do. Is I don't think we're going to be fighting a gym leader in these next four episodes. That's weird when I've been fighting a gym leader every other episode. Anyway, besides the point, we got Ty with Mega Drain, Sleep Powder, Vine Whip, Sludge, level 38. We got Cypher level 34 with the moves Thunderbolt, Tri-Tech, Thunder Punch, and Flamethrower. We got Adorable Plus One in mind, who's just kind of sitting here for death fodder purposes, because... Who needs Wigglytuff? Not this guy. Um, with the move Stomp, Tackle, Double Team Payday. We got J-Rod with the moves Cut, uh, Hydro Pump, Waterfall, Body Slam. We got Kawhi, the Dragon Knight, with the moves Fire Blast, Vine Whip, Psychic, and Stomp. And we got Char, the newly evolved Charizard, with the moves Body Slam, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Fire Blast. So, we got that. That's a pretty good setup. I believe so. Now, we fought. A, we did a lot last episode. So, to recap last episode, if you didn't watch it already, we went through um, Route 8. We dipped into Celadon. We, after dipping into Celadon, we got the HM Fly, which I don't. Which we can finally. If we can teach it to a Pokemon, it would be nice. Um, I think we can. Yeah, we got Kawhi as. Kawhi is part flying, but we also have Char that can learn it too. So we have two Mons that can learn it, two of which are flying types. Um, Char might actually be a better use of fly. No. I actually think Kawhi will make better use of Fly instead of Vine Whip. We're doing that. That that sounds like a good plan. Now the question will be, can I use Fly outside of battle? Probably not. But we'll find out. Ugh, we can! We're going straight to Pewter City. We can find out what our fossil has been this entire time. I think. I don't want to pay $50. Oh, I guess I just did. Um. Hold on. Something about July 20th, 1969. I want a Moonstone. Give me a Moonstone.
No, but I can go up and around, right? Oh, no, I can't. Wait, what? No, but I can go up here and use cut. Gotcha. I was gonna say, I'm like, I swear I have a, I have the ability to do what I want to do here. <clears throat> oh, wait, what? How do I revive my fossils? Hello? Where? I got another one. I swore it was in pewter. It's not in pewter. Cinnabar Island. There's a little lab-like beauty building. So we have a long time. What? Why am I thinking it's in pewter? Probably because it's the rock type gym and you would only expect it to be there. But no, that's just where the old amber is. So got another item that I have to... Wait. I can deposit items in the PC, I think. Can't I in this game? I think I can. Tactics? Question mark? If I somehow figure out a tactic that I can use in this playthrough, I'll be super happy. We turned on the PC. That's the Pokemon. <gasps> deposit. Yes! Okay, deposit the Water Stone. The Helix Fossil. The SS Ticket. Ah! Deposit HMO one. Deposit, um... The coin case. And the old amber. TM08 and 39. That's Ice Beam. <sighs> Yes, we found a tactic that is gonna work, and I'm so very happy because I don't have to worry about dying and not having items. This is gonna be great. Okay, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I'm unconditionally happy. Okay, anyway, we want Kawhi and Cypher to gain levels. 80 p.m. could gain levels too, but... Okay, now, oh, uh, who's our flying Pokemon? Kawhi. Kawhi's a flying Pokemon. We're gonna fly back to Lavender Town, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I can't. I should not be calling, um. Yeah, I should not be doing that. Um, anyway. We're gonna do what I actually wanted to do in this episode, which was go through the tower. Um. Which is exactly what we're doing in today's episode, is going through this tower, getting a lot of stuff done. Oh, well, that's okay. We're gonna have to fight you anyway. <laughs> when I actually get rid of it, I actually need it. Go figure. Um, X speed. Oh, that's pointless. There was Eevees in here. I would have had a Vaporeon. No, I want Vaporeon now. Although, I think that I 100% believe that Meta Metamech is a better Pokemon. So I'm not really mad. Alright, I was like, I think Fire Blast is super effective. I know that was risky, though. That was a very risky move that I just, a maneuver that I went for. But, I mean, it's, I'm also doing something risky because I believe that it's fine for me to go do something risky. Because... You know, oh, Kawhi's trying to learn Jump Kick? It's better than Stomp. Coughing. Nice. We'll take that any day. We got a Max Ether, which is perfect. 
Voltorb. We'll jump kick that to death. Eliminate. We'll take some items. We'll take healing. A Poke Doll. That we can just toss. Or I can just straight up use it right now. Because I'm never going to use it in any other scenario other than that. Um, I'm going to actually jump kick. Because why as well. I want to gain as much EXP as possible. That's basically what this is. Is I want to gain as much EXP as I can in the shortest amount of time. So that I can just not have to worry about anything. Oh, that's a static encounter too in this, this area. I just thought about that. That is a static encounter that we're going to be able to get in this episode. Because I won't have to worry about... I, like, I just, I won't. Rapidash, that gets destroyed. Like I said, Kawhi and everybody's gonna have to gain some levels. Neater Ants, I beat that thing to death, and that was an easy win. Easy Ws. Bruh! It's monsoon raining! It's July! It's July! Why is it raining like this? Hello? It's July! What? The I haven't... Sorry. Only people from Washington will understand this. But... This is so... Aggravating. The amount of rain that we've had lately. Oddish, die. Ditto, also die. We missed, okay. Like, you might be able to hear it because it's that hard. It is raining that hard. The Thunderstone. I don't really re recall any Pokemon other than Eevee and Pikachu that are able to use that stone, but... Probably because they are the only two that can use the stone effectively. But, yeah. Like, it's insane how much it's raining. Diglett, die. And the Firestone! That makes me so sad! Growlithe, why are you dead? We could have had an Arcanine. Although we would have had to have a Growlithe up to level 37. Which, in and of itself, is very difficult. Okay, so this is a level 30 mod. To my knowledge, though, it is a catchable mod. That's only to my knowledge. I could be completely wrong. But I feel like this is a catchable mod. Be gone, intruders. We got a level... Oh, wait. Okay, Ghost appeared. Self-scope and build the Ghost Identity. It is... <laughs> it's dupes! So we can get a token. We can get a token encounter. I'll take that. Also, can we run? Oh, no, we do have to fight it. Okay. I was trying to run to, like... Oh, wait. You're not... I know, I, need, I know Adorable Postal of Mine is supposed to be my, like... What is doing that kind of damage? It's gotta be some fighting type move. That ha it, had, it had to be some fight. I wasn't paying attention. I mean, that's what I get for... We got the Moonstone! That's the one! I we have a Nino King, boys and girls! We have a Nino King! Because we have a Nino, Re a Nino Reno in the box, and now that can't evolve. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's hype. That is mad hype. We have... We got, like, a bunch of stones, so that'll be... be Proved to be very useful. Lemonade, let's use that on. Okay. 
I mean, I kind of <laughs> I know this is sad, but I kind of want the Wiggly Tuff to die. But I know it just won't die because it's just there. It just soaks up hits. Um, I'm gonna actually put Cypher in the front. Because Cypher needs experience. As our first opponent is a Jolteon. And then an Eevee. An Eevee gets destroyed. And then a Dratini. Dratini can get tri attacked. Goldeen gets Thunderbolted to death. Polyworld also gets Thunderbolted to death. Staryu gets Thunderbolted to death. Cubone gets tri attacked to death. Tentacle gets tri attacked to death. Parasect gets tri attacked to death as well. That, it, that was a quick two levels. Super, super easy. <laughs> you came to save me? Thank you. But I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of the Cubone's mother. I think Marilak's spirit is gone. To the afterlife though. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of the this tower. Okay. I have been praying alone for the Cubone's mother. Is that, oh, wait. Never mind, it's this guy. John, your Pokemon may fail without the love of your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. Here's the Pokeflute. Upon hearing the Pokeflute sleeping, Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon, including Snorlax Encounters! Okay, yeah, it, it works on those two. Um, although, I gotta put some more things in the box. Things in the box, gotta put more things in the box. I do though, like, I'm not lying when I say I have to put more stuff in the box because the Firestone, the Thunderstone, and the Moonstone all kind of have to be in the box. Max Ether and X, X Speed I can sell. Max Ether's fine. It's weird actually having to use the item thingy. Because I'm just not used to doing that. Yeah, I know Clefairy involves with the Moonstone. Pidgeot gets destroyed and Paris also kind of kindly gets destroyed. Um, Sea Draw. I mean, this episode is just destroy everything in my path and we'll be fine. Victory Bell. Oh wait, I could have flamethrowered that, but that's okay. I really should have flamethrowered that to be fair, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, but we all know we're just kind of kindly letting our Pokemon gain the best of experience. Aerodactyl, that's a flying tide that gets destroyed instantaneously. Hitmonlee. Thunderbolt, that thing. Kakuna, Thunderbolt, that thing. Horsey, Thunderbolt, that thing. Like, Cypher's trying to learn Soft Boil. No, we have, we have potions. Soft Boil is gonna be pointless. So now we have to get water. Time to buy some water bottles. Because the water bottles will let us get into Saffron. So, if I wanna get into Saffron, that's gonna be the kind of the way to do it. Um, let's go to this mart and buy some water bottles because everybody's thirsty hose. Um, I don't know where that came from, but it came from somewhere. That's all I know. That sounds so weird. No, not thirsty. And then she is the one that gives you like the very good TMs. 
the, the very good TMs, but in this game it might not be very good. Um, but I'll, I'll go get her TMs later, because I don't really want to worry about her TMs at the moment. Okay, you don't have anything of importance. You have things that cost a lot of money. You also don't have much of importance. Let me just... I mean, honestly... I might as well just drop down to the first floor now that I... did everything I need to do. But now it's time to go... get our one of our first static, encounter, static encounters. Level 30! It's another level 30 Pokemon. Static encounters will count as tokens if I do not have them. So right now I've got one token. Or if I have uh, the their um, species. I don't have the species. A Polyrath. I will actually... I, I will take a Polyrath. Polyrath is a very good Pokemon. I really like the way it works. I'm going to try attack it because that should not kill. Like, in no way, shape, or form should that kill. That was a crit. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead as that thing tried to hydro. I think that's what it was. I think it tried to hydro pump me. Yeah, that's what it did. Okay. But we're going to put it to sleep, make it fall asleep, and we're going to use a Great Ball on it. There. Polyrath has been caught, boys. Okay, we got the Polyrath. It is four foot three. Do we want to nickname the Polyrath? Um, yes, we do. We need to name this. Um, Kimbo. I remember seeing this name for a Polyrath, and I think that's a very good name for a Polyrath. Um. I don't, I, like, I saw it in Shady Pang with Soul Link, so I'm sorry. Ugh. I know people are going to be probably pissed that I named this thing Kimbo, but, I mean, Soul Link was one of my favorite series, and I'm glad I was able to do one. I'm actually able to do a Tri-Link. I'm doing something better than a Soul Link. Um, yeah. And it's harder than a Soul Link, too. Like, it's much harder. Let me tell you. Um, but... Yeah, we're gonna heal. We're 23 minutes in. There. We can now go to Saffron. So this is Saffron City. So now we can do that very easily. Um, but let's go down Cycling Road because that's kind of what you're supposed to do first. But now that we have access to Saffron and that I've been in Saffron, it'll make things so much easier. Let's be real. Oh, I never got the bike. Wow. I never got the bike. That's only something typical John would do. That's only something that John would do. Um, I'll have somebody nagging at my shoulders telling me to get the bike. Um, okay, uh, not that I need that. Um, I think it's in Celadon? Though I could be wrong. But I swear it's in Celadon. I am in Celadon. I'm a freaking dumbass sometimes. Yes. Yes, I am a freaking dumbass sometimes. Wow. <laughs> Cerulean is what I meant. I was like, like what? This is nothing's happening. 
Um, okay, nothing over there. The bike shop. It's gotta be in. Is it not in Cerulean? No, okay, it is. I was like, I, it's just there's no bike. I'm used to seeing the bikes outside. Who gives you the bike voucher? Bike voucher. Well, I'm not sure who gives you the bike voucher. So, in the next episode, we'll be getting the bike, um, and we will be um, going down Cycling Road because. Oh, and I'm turning red because I'm embarrassed. Okay, anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It's raining hard out here, so please send help. Um, even though this is literally like actually probably not happening when this uploads. Um, but no, we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.